Alright, so mystery machine, mystery machine, where are you? Uh, it looks like going left gets us a bonfire, going right gets us a bonfire. We want to go right, probably, for these mysteries. No. These three bonfires. We have a shop here, but I'm poor. There, okay. Yeah, because every bonfire represents a free relic for me. This is why we need infinite mode. Like, real bad. It's kind of awkward, actually. Yeah, there's no real mystery machine that I can look at. Well, I will gladly just take cards. Really, we just want to hit every, every bonfire. So, you know what? I'm just gonna keep to the left and we'll go from there. Okay, so Matryoshka doll is done for. Alright, so I like... Actually, none of these. See, I like that. Alright, let's do Armaments Plus so it has a chance to show up again. Corruption, which now makes this stupid. Alright, defend gets us something. Gets us a true strike. Sure, why not? Uh, let's go for Bomber Knot in the back. Eh, I've had better starts. Oh, boy. See, here's the better start that I'm looking for. Havoc, which gets me combust. Blood for blood. Havoc, which gets me uppercut and flex. Flex, which gets burnt. Uh, but that's fine. Let's use dual wield, which gets me a whole bunch of disarms, which I'm going to disarm... Uh, let's disarm this guy and this guy, seeing as I'm going to destroy Explodey next. Let's use double tap. See, I'd really like to boost my defense if I can manage it. Alright, so what do we got? Whole hell of a lot of attacks and not a whole lot of defense right now. We've got Rampage, Cleave. I could cleave through them real quick, but I'd take damage. I would like to avoid that, maybe. Let's use Combust. Now, I got three. Well, let's use... Let's start with Cleave, because I believe my next attack is doubled. Okay, that hurt a little bit, but that's fine. Kill this guy. Uppercut him. And then pummel him the rest of the way. Okay, I took damage there. Whatever. Oh, inventory is full. I'll skip on the poison potion. Burning Pact, exhaust a card, draw three cards. I like the sound of that. Alright, well, obviously we fight for relics. Alright, so, don't like Writhe, Body Slam, Defend, Iron Wave, Havoc is good, Flex is good. Actually, no, Flex is kind of useless here. We really need that corruption to start with. Alright, so there's corruption. Which is a power. Which makes m metallicize free. Which makes other stuff free, but this is fine. Intimidate. Which weaks weakens all enemies. And gets them out of my hair. Evolve, which I was really hoping would make barricade free. doesn't. Eh, it sucks. Alright, well, let's do that. Uh, there's the thorn guy. Thorn on my side. I'll just keep wailing on him. Eh, this is fine. My body slam is innate, but I always mulligan it. Really? It shouldn't be innate. It just, I always start with it for some mysterious reason.
Okay. Yeah, it's a little bit harder, but we'll be fine. All right, so let's do disarm on this guy. Blood for blood. I really hate those strikes. And I don't have enough strength, so limit break is bad. Uh, this one's going to hurt a bit. Flame in a bottle. Oh, you're right. I did I did use flame in a bottle on it. Whoopsie. I wasn't paying attention. Okay, so we're actually taking more damage here than I thought I was going to. Let's exhaust a wound, which gets me a whole mess of cards. See, that's what I was looking for. All right, so let's do defend. Defend. Havoc plus... Burns a card, gets me Dark Embrace, which is amazing. Let's use Dark Embrace, because I exhaust cards constantly. Let's use Armaments Plus, which gets me more cards. Bloodletting, which hurts, helps. Inflame, it's worthwhile. Infernal Blade, lets me headbutt a guy. Let's see. What do we do? I don't have a whole lot of strength here. But I'm just going to do that for now. Rampage. We already have corruption. I don't think you can double corruption. Though the idea of that is hilarious. Uh, I really am not that interested in almost all of these cards. But we have another Iron Wave. I'm not going to do bonus damage to any of these guys, am I? Well, that's fine. Let's body slam this guy out. And then Fiend Fire only works on one guy, eh? All right, whatever. And fear, Fiend Fire the rest of him. There we go. Reroll hand with Fiend Fire. Yeah, kinda. Ooh, money. Uh, skill to wield. Hell yeah. Uh, if we could get a, if we could have gotten Apotheosis on this run, that would have been the best. Unfortunately, it does not look like. Yeah, we're not gonna get another shop here. I got the money for it. What does the coin do? 250 gold. It's not very good. All right, so let's get rid of Limit Break. I like Evolve, Havoc, Writhe, get rid of Body Slam, which, yeah, you're right, is innate. Okay, we do have Transmutation, which I like the idea of. All right, so first and foremost, let's use Armament. Upgrade everything, which means I can use Barricade, which makes everything cheaper. Uh, let's use Infernal Blade. Gets me a free twin strike and a shrug it off, which is interesting. So let's use Evolve, which I can now use the shrug it off, which I don't really like most of the stuff that we've gotten. So we disarm an enemy for a body slam, but honestly, I can live without a body slam on this run. So let's use a transmutation to get all sorts of weird garbage. The weird garbage will have to wait. Oh, money contributes to score now. Well, that's useful. Though, honestly, I don't care too much about score. Let's see. There's a shop, though, this way. Yeah. I just... I would miss out on two bonfires, which I'm a little bit iffy on, but maybe I should do it anyway, just because of how freaking wealthy I am. Yeah, I'll do it. I'll do it the midway. Alright, well, there's corruption. Which makes everything amazing. Let's do Burning Blade, Exhaust a Wound, gets me, er, gets me stuff high. War Cry, which gets me more cards. I'm gonna put, let's get rid of that for the time being. I'm not actually sure if it was necessary, but that's fine, because we get Havoc, which we use the Iron Wave. Yep, high, Flame Barrier, Metallicize. I'm out of energy, but that doesn't mean I'm out of options. All right, let's um, gain some strength off of that guy. Wild Strike, which gets me a wound, but who cares? Sentinel, which gets me some more energy. Havoc, which gets me an Intimidate, which is awesome. All right, Pummel. Pummel would be good. Strike is good. Strike is free. Oh, let's see, I could do Whirlwind or... 
Immolate is useless here. Whereas I can just pummel this guy for a bunch of damage. Which gets me a Combust. I like Combust. Alright, let's strike him again, and then I'm gonna bash the guy in the middle. Who is now vulnerable. Whatever. I guess I could have done Whirlwind for maybe another Dex, but I don't think it really changes much. Yeah, if there was ever a run to have two rows of relics, this would be it. Okay, so he already died. Which is kind of a whoopsie, but whatever. So, dual wield. Oh. Well, dual wield again. Of, uh... Defend gets me a true grit. Flex. Which gets me a sever soul. That's exactly what I want. Alright, uh... Let's use Evolve. Which makes Strike free. Wail on this guy. Wail on him some more. Exhaust my whole hand for one hell of a mulligan. Okay. So, Flame Barrier. Obviously. Now we have Headbutt. Not that helpful. Sever Soul, which, have been, which would have been good. We'll get rid of Dark Embrace in favor of a free Shockwave and another Headbutt, interestingly enough, which gets us a Reckless Charge, which is free, which will womp this guy off the map. Alright, and unfortunately it's not going to be enough to kill this guy, but that's fine. We'll kill him on the next round. I think this Darkling is going to come back. Nope. They're both regrowing, which makes this so much easier. And he's dead. There we go. Card farming for days, and somehow I'm gaining HP here. Alright, draw two cards, place a card from your hand on top of the pile, or intimidate. Ah, uh, let's go Warcry. More hand manipulation. Alright, I can lose armor movements plus barricade or body slam. Do I have multiple barricades? I... Oh, all of these suck. All of this sucks. I mean... These are like my three most useful cards. We need barricade. If I'm going to be fighting a boss. Armaments plus is probably going to be the one that I get rid of. Which hurts. We could just lose body slam. Yeah, let's just lose body slam. I do enough damage with all, all of my other garbage garbage maneuvers. That sucks a bit. Okay, so what do we get? We get Metallicize, which is awesome, makes something else free. Havoc, which gets me some garbage. Evolve, which makes something else free. Combust, which I was really hoping that would make Barricade free. Infernal Blade, which gets me a Rampage and a Pummel. Burning Pact, which... Let's get rid of the uh, Spare Pummel. Well, that gets me an exo Uh, It gets me some stuff. Let's Pummel him, seeing as it's free. I was really hoping I could get my hands on some other stuff. Oh, that's okay. I don't want to use Transmutation because I don't want to lose Barricade on this one. So, Exhume. I could Exhume an Exhausted card. I don't know what Exhausted cards I have, though. Or we could just use that. Oh! Which makes Exhume free. So I'll take back an Infernal Blade, which I can't use right now. We could just say screw it, but I think I'm going to wait. Hold on to Transmutation until the next round.
Okay. Flex. Limit break. Can't do anything. Yeah, this is why we need corruption really badly. But we did just dupe my limit breaks, which is pretty good. There it is. There you are. Took you long enough. Uh, choose a card to put on top of your draw pile. I don't know, freaking Whirlwind, why not? Let's use another Havoc here. Which gets me a Feel No Pain, which is amazing. Uh, we still don't have other stuff, but that that's fine. Okay, so let's use Limit Break. Doubles my strength. Could have been better. Could have been worse. Gets me some other stuff, which gets me another dual wield and a couple of Infernal Blades, maybe? I'm not sure. I think my inventory got full here. Let's hit him with that. That's all non-attack cards. So I might as well clear my attacks from my hand. Primarily the free ones. Okay, so Rupture is not that great. I'd like to use Metallicize. But let's use True Grit, which gets me rid of gets rid of that, which gets me a Rage, which gets me a... I was really hoping for an Energy Booster here. Well, I'll use Sever Soul to do a bunch of damage to him. We lose a Metallicize, but honestly, this guy isn't that big of a deal. And we're good. And I really wish I had Barricade right now. Okay. Flex. Gets me a Blood for Blood for free. Then I'm gonna transmute this whole hand, which gets me two more Metallicizes. Which, I'll Body Slam this guy for not much. You know what? I'm actually gonna drink the Block Potion. Okay. This is a weird run. I like it though, but it's a weird run. Okay, so we have Armaments Plus, which upgrades everything, which is fine. We get another Armaments, interestingly enough. Well, let's do Defend, which gets me a Shrug It Off, which gets me two more cards, probably. Let's use Evolve, which makes Body Slam free, which is fine. Uh, I've got a whole hell of a lot of defense. Let's upgrade the Body Slam. Boost his damage a bunch. Uh, eh, bunch? Bunch. There we go. Strike, strike, cleave, and then body slam him for 50 damage. Really only 50? I thought it was supposed to be double. Okay. Yeah, uh, there's barricade. Took him long enough. Disarm. Havoc. Which, let's exhaust Writhe. Get that out of here. Gets me some stuff. Inventory is full. Yeah. That's a problem. Well, I don't want to use dual wield yet, so let's use Infernal Blade. Havoc. Seeing red. Bash. Which does not get exhausted. Limit break, because I don't really have much else I can do here. Bloodletting, sure, why not? Offering. There's demon form, which is neat. Uh, let's use dual wield, which more or less just piles stuff into our inventory. Sever soul. Exhaust all non-attack cards. Uh, well... Deal. Oh, that's only 24 damage. It's not 24 t for each? Well, that's dumb. Let's headbutt him, and he dies. Alright. Uh, I like Body Slam Plus. I also like Burning Pact. Let's go Burning Pact. It'll be free, and it'll be worth it. Okay, we want to go for that shop. It's a longer run than I thought it was going to be. Oh, hello, Nemesis. You're a pain in the ass. All right, let's get rid of Bash. All right. What do I got? I got Havoc, 
Let's use Havoc Plus, which uses us another Havoc Plus. Which burns us some garbage, but doesn't really save our butts. He's gonna hit me for a lot. That sucks. I'm gonna throw the Poison Potion. I'm not really gonna use it for much. So I could use Burning Pact. I could flex, but there's really not a whole lot of point to flexing right now. I could just do Barricade Metallicize. Oh, hey! That made Barricade free. Awesome. So let's use, let's burn Hemokinesis. And we get... Well, ain't that fancy. Okay, so we have Armaments Plus, which is really good. Let's use another Burning Pact. Uh, I'm going to burn the Perfected Strike. I have no use for it. Let's use Armaments Plus, seeing as that upgrades, like, actually everything. Which becomes kind of ridiculous. Hit him with a Rampage. And then I could do a transmute, uh, Transformation. But that would screw up my dual wields, which are amazing. So let's skip that. I'll take some damage here, but this is fine. How many metallicizes do I have? Three or four? Two to four? Somewhere in there? The problem is it changes. The, the amount of garbage that I get... ...changes on a round-to-round -round basis. Entirely... ...randomly. It kind of is a problem. Let's do Thunderclap. Defend. And strike. Because we still don't have Corruption. That's the one thing with my deck being as big as it is. Uh, if we don't get Corruption early on, we actually end up taking some damage here. This guy is still a problem for me. Alright, so let's use Corruption. Metallicize. Warcry. Oh, let's get rid of Strike. Evolve. Which gets me a free feeding, which doesn't really do much right now. Exhaust, I get an uppercut, but that's not really that helpful. We hit him for one. I got Barricade. Okay, so let's use Havoc. Gets me a Wild Strike. Let's Exhaust a Wound. There's a bunch of cards. Holy shit, I don't... Uh, my hand is full. Alright. Well, what can I use? Hit him with Wild Strike, that shuffles a wound in there. Hit him with Wild uh, Iron Wave. Hit him with Flame Barrier. Which gets us a Feel No Pain, which is awesome. Because that means whenever a card is exhausted, I get stuff. Let's hit him with Defend. Which gets me a Corruption, which is actually kind of pointless here. Hit him with Strike. Limit Break is mostly useless. And then I've got Metallicize, so he's not going to do any damage to me there. Okay. Alright, well, let's start with Havoc. Gets me a Searing Blow. Burns a Defend. Gets me a Sever Soul. I don't like any of these. Transformation. That gets me some stuff. Dual Wield gets me a bunch of Defends and a Sentinel. Let's use Sentinel. Defend. Defend. Blood for Blood, Anger, and I probably could have used Reaper now that I'm thinking about it, but whatever. Okay, Juzu bla Bracelet. It's kind of helpful. And I'm going to get in Flame, because I like powers. So I'm a little injured. Uh, let's get rid of Writhe, Strike. I like Burning Pact for this. Warcry is good. We'll keep Armaments Plus. Let's get rid of the rest of these. I really hope I can pull Corruption early. I can't. That sucks, but I can get Barricade at the very least. Ow, these guys are going to hurt. Let's use Warcry. Uh, let's get rid of... Injury? No, let's get rid of Defend. Okay. So I have Pummel, I have Burning Pact, let's exhaust the injury. Gets me a whole hell of a lot of cards, but it really doesn't get me much here. My defense is only five, this is gonna hurt. Let's drink the regen potion, and we wait.
This is painful. Alright, so let's use Havoc, which burns us to defend, which gets us an Intimidate, which weakens them both, which gets them down. We get another Metallicize, which is awesome. Defend, Strike, and Cleave. Yeah, the problem is, for whatever reason, Corruption keeps showing up at the uh, more or less bottom, which is real scary. Because without Corruption, this deck is actually really bad. Especially when we're up against inflation. So we get an inflame. We get a double transmutation, which I will use. Okay, well, let's use Jack of All Trades, which gets me some stuff. Flash of Steel, which is good. And Metallicize, Purified Shoes. Let's get rid of. No. Let's get rid of Uppercut. It's too expensive for me right now. This will get me some stuff. Not really what I was looking for, but that's fine. Okay, so let's use Metallicize. The extra block will be nice. I am actually going to die if I don't manage to cut this damage down a little bit further. Let's use a Transmutation. Which lets me intimidate them, weakens them down. They're going to do 27 damage. I can block for a little bit more. See, we don't have any vulnerable enemies. I have two energy, too. Yeah, solution. Add more corruption. Wish I could. Well, let's use Inflame, which makes Sentinel free. Which gives me a little bit. Uh, can't really do Dropkick, so we might as well just Rampage this guy. Alright. Those burns are killer. These guys are kind of killer. Yeah, we actually... We're gonna lose this one, I believe. Nope. We're gonna hang on by the skin of our teeth. So I'm gonna do... 20 damage to them. But I'm gonna take the burn. We heal, but we get some defense. Yeah, this was actually this bloat deck was actually the worst thing I could have possibly run into. Havoc, which gets me some stuff. Clothesline, which isn't enough. And the burns kill me. Oh, but I have Lizard Tail. I just picked it. Uh, I just picked it as a joke. But yeah, Orb Walkers are really, really dangerous. Alright, well, let's do Burn Pact, which lets us burn some of these. Another Burning Pact, which lets us get rid of Burn. Alright, here we go. Let's use Evolve. Get rid of some of this stuff. Sentinel, which gets us some defense. Havoc, which plays some cards, gets me some garbage. Do this. Shockwave. Havoc. Limit Break. Disarm. Rupture. Rupture, cleave, um, flex, and he's dead. Scary. Okay, and I'm gonna skip all these. Lose all gold, gain a relic. No. That is way too risky for me. Yeah, lizards. Lizard tail saved my ass. So offering is scary, but it's exactly what we need for this deck. What does the tail say now? The power is all used up. Alright, so we get another transmutation if we want it. Or a Chalcum will save my ass too. Molten Egg, I can upgrade an attack. Good, I thought for a second I had left and I got really, really scared. I can upgrade it an attack. I don't really have attacks that I'd normally upgrade. I mean, the extra transmutation might be nice. Armaments, kind of nice. 
Yeah, Ori Chalcum is helpful. Dex Potion, really helpful. Yeah, we could get another second wind. But I don't want more cards. I'll just hold on to those. Remove a curse. Could've. That's actually a good point. Uh, main thing is, I just got a lot of hand manipulation, so I'm not too worried about it. Um, I'll hold on to Evolve. Just because. Okay, so this is kind of a bad roll, but that's fine. War Cry. Put Disarm back. Let's get a Havoc. Which burns Disarm on him, but that's fine. Offering. Which is a bit scary. Are any of these absurdly useful? I mean, there's drop... Yeah, there's Dropkick, which pays for itself. We have a Defend Plus, but I have no Barricade. Do I have Wounds yet? Because I have Injuries, but no Wounds. And this isn't a Wound deck. So, let's transform it into exciting things. Let's use Flex... Fire breathing. Bludgeon. Which hits him for 91. Hell yeah. Exhaust your hand. Deal 9 damage for each exhausted card. Uh, sure. That's a whole hell of a lot of damage. And gets me some new, uh, some new duds. For later. I love, I love this, this run. It's scary. My deck is very bloated. Um, but I'll probably be fine. Alright, so let's do Inflame, which makes a Defend free. I'll take it. Uh, let's use Dual Wield, though. Which dupes the amount of Metallicizes I've got. I'll take it. Which makes the other Metallicize free. Alright, so that helps. I really wish Dex would apply to Metallicize. It's not going to hurt me. Yeah, so at this point, all we want are hand ma uh, manipulation cards. Really. So let's do a Metallicize. A Limit Break. Which makes Bash free, which I'll take. We'll use Transmutation to give me some new stuff. Unfortunately, there's Corruption... Uh, but it's too pricey. So let's just do Flame Barrier. It'll show up later. Unfortunately, I don't think I can do Double Corruption, which sucks, but whatever. Okay, so let's... There's Barricade. Let's use Barricade. Which makes Burning Pact free. Havoc, which uses Corruption, which is good. Uh, it's actually exactly what we wanted. So now we have, let's burn the Strike, because I don't like Strike anyway. Let's use Flex, Dual Wield, Havoc. Okay, we're back. Ah, uh, this is a very long run, but it's very fun. Okay, so we, we're not exhausting that. What are we exhausting? Let's exhaust Offering. I like offering it a lot, and we get another offering, I guess. Uh, I like offering a lot, but it's not useful for what I'm doing here. So let's just use a free strike. Let's defend Sentinel, which gets me some energy. Okay, which gets me a drop kick. He is vulnerable. Let's use it. It's it pays for itself. Havoc, which gets me anger and some other stuff. Defend, defend. 
Okay, Sever, Sever Soul would be interesting, but also problematic. Uh, let's do Dual Wield. Gets me strikes. Which really isn't that helpful. Power Through. None of these are good. Well, let's exhaust him for 104 damage. Oh, it is per. Holy crap, that's ridiculous. Okay. Bird Faced Urn. Hell yeah. Extra healing. And let's get another Burning Pact. Skip the potion. Don't need it. We've already hit the shop. We've got everything we need. Uh, well, this is interesting. Let's throw up one of the transmutations, get rid of the defend, the bash. I like evolve. Why Why does evolve always show up? Actually, I don't like evolve that much. Let's burn them all. Let's hope we get corruption here. We do not. But maybe we're okay. They're all weakened somehow. Why are they all weakened somehow? I have no idea. Let's use... Havoc, which... Played it. Did weaken them. Okay. Um, I don't know. Let's use Burning Pact. Let's get rid of the Defend. None of them are even going to hit me here. Use the other Burning Pact on the Injury. And there it is. Alright, so there's Corruption. Let's see. We don't want to do Havoc. I'm actually out of energy here. Let's see, I don't have any strength, so that's useless. Do wield... Guess I can do Thunderclap. Oh, I do take some damage there. Oh, and we get Wounds of Plenty. I forgot about that. But we can do to... Oh, Champion's Belt. That's... that's why. Okay, so Limit Break is useless. Havoc is... kind of interesting. Oh, and we get a Barricade. I'll take that. Rampage is free. Let's just hit the guy in the back, which makes Dropkick free. I don't know why. Armaments Plus, which upgrades everything, which I'm not really sure if that's going to do me any good. But we get a Dual Wield Plus, which lets me do Burning Packs up the Wazoo, which lets me get rid of Searing Blow in favor of more cards, which lets me use Metallicize. Uh, let's use another Burning Pact. Get rid of... No, let's get rid of... Offering, because I'm not going to be using Offering anyway. Which gets me Flex, which lets me use Limit Break. So I get 4 Strength, lose some, who cares. Enemy loses Strength. I don't know, let's just make him useless. Alright, so we get another Burning Pact if I want it. Um, well, I have a Free Strike, let's hit the guy in the back. My defense is still a problem. I like feel, feel No Pain, but I can't afford it right now. I can transform my own hand, but I don't actually know if that's going to help me at all. So let's put Feel No Pain at the top. Which gets me Combust, but none of this is any good. Let's roll Defend, Defend. Dual Wield, which gets me multiple Feel No Pains, which gets interesting. Burning Pact, let's get rid of a random strike. I'm just really hoping for an energy booster here. Uh-oh. Dupes my... Dupes those. Okay. Now, we could go with the screw it option. Let's go with the screw it option. Alright. So let's do dual wield. Gets me something. I'm just tanking my hand up. Dramatic entrance, which weakens them all. Sure. Let's see. I've got multiple power throughs, but I have a whole hell lot of block and evolve. So that'll be okay. Let's do rage. Got anything else I can do? I can do Whirlwind, which doesn't hit them at all. Gets me some stuff. Regret is going to hurt like hell, though. Maybe I regret that. Start with Rage. Rage only works based on attacks, not regular abilities. This is a weird problem. Oh, we blew up the explosive guy already. Alright, well, let's use Limit Break. Let's use Impervious. Havoc? Oh, draw pile is empty. Wait, why is that a problem? Since when has that been an issue? I don't want to lose HP because I think I think that it hurts myself. Yeah, why was my Dual 
draw pile not refreshing. Maybe, maybe you can't roll through it twice in one go. Well, it doesn't matter. Okay, uh, I will gladly take another metallicize. Alright, hey, there's corruption. Okay, so let's get rid of limit break, defend, writhe. Alright, so there's Corruption, which is everything we wanted more in every rocket can possible. Which means I get a free Evolve, which is good, because Evolve is scary. Body Slam, and a Reaper. Reaper is good. Let's do Havoc first. Gets me a Limit Break, but that's not that helpful. And a Clothesline. Well, let's Limit Break the Defend. Or, not Limit Break the Defend. Cycle it out. Okay. So you're seeing red. And Rage, because we want Rage. Okay, so let's use Inflame, which makes Clothesline free. Let's hit him. I've still got some energy, so let's use Juggernaut. Which makes everything else free. So let's do Limit Break, doubles my strength. Fire Breathing, which will make Reaper free. I believe, yeah, it does. Okay, Dual Wield... Dual wield. Defend, defend. Which is just going to wallop this guy. Spot weakness is not useful. Battle trance, which I think maxes up my inventory. Yeah, it does. Alright, well, let's go back to hitting him. At least a little bit. I guess I might as well use spot weakness for the extra energy. Awesome. I'll use the other spot weakness, even though he's not attacking me. It just gives me shit. Um, let's see. I don't think I'm going to increase my damage anymore, so we might as well use Reaper for the free heal. Well, there's another Reaper if I wanted it. I'm pretty full health, though. But I could do it anyway. Let's do it anyway. Okay. So things, things are getting fun here. Uh, so let's body slam him. I might get more defense, but I'm about to do horrible things. Let's use True Grip, which gets rid of a random card for that, which lets me use another Spot Weakness, which gets me a Pummel, which I can't do use until I get rid of it all in favor of Secret Technique, Skill from your Draw Pile, place it in, into your hand, Exhaust, Awesome, Armaments Plus. Let's use that. Plus I'm out, all out, even though there's nothing I can do. I can use the Offering, seeing as I'm full health, which lets me use... Uh, Fiend Fire, which I think is going to kill him. There we go. Was that my first turn? I think it was. Let's get rid of one of these for a Dex Potion. And what do we got? Combust? Scary. Sentinel is amazing. Oh, one of my uh, noise canceling foam fell down. That's a that hasn't happened for a while. All right, and it's this. Let's go madness. Why not? All right, I'm full health. Now I could smith a card up. I could smith up the barricade. That might not be a terrible idea. Or I could get another relic. Um, interesting. Well, I start with one strength. I'll take it. All right, so let's get rid of Writhe, Writhe, Strike, Strike, Sentinel, and I like Evolve. Well, let's lead with Warcry. I'm really hoping I can get Corruption, but I don't. Let's put Transmutation on top of our draw pile. Okay, so I have Burning Pact, but I, I well, I kind of want to use it. I kind of don't want to use it. It's scary. Let's use Madness, which is a skill, which burns itself up. We get Double Tap, which is interesting. I could double... Uh, I could do a double... Hmm. Well, do I have anything useless? Because I could always just hit him with a, uh, a double-tapped Whirlwind, which would be really weird and stuff. What's this boss's effect? This boss is actually a hard counter for me, which kind of sucks. Well, I'm going to... Get rid of upper uppercut. 
in favor of more cards. Burning Pact. Now let's get rid of... Double Tap is a skill. Let's get rid of Whirlwind. I almost never am going to use it. Disarm. We have an Exhum, which is awesome. I guess I'm going to bash him. I was just really hoping I could get uh, something. I guess let's drink the Dex potions early. Yeah, this this guy is a very definitive hard counter to me and everything that I do, which I'm not happy about. Well, let's exhume a card. Specifically, let's exhume madness, which we will use to intimidate him. Weaken him further. So now what do we have? Still mostly garbage. I've got a couple of things I could do. Um, I think I'm going to use Evolve, which makes Pummel free, which gets me a Reaper, which I can't use. I have Power Through, if I want to block the damage, and yeah, we don't have to worry about wounds anymore, which, there goes my turn, but there goes my hand. Okay, so this guy, this guy sucks. I don't like him that much. Let's use Infernal Blade, which gets exhausted, which gets me impervious. Hell yeah, impervious. Which also gets me Clothesline, which really isn't that helpful, but I can use Cleave. And there goes my turn. Yeah, so what does he do? He does a lot of damage, and every 12 turns, my turn is ended, and he gains 3 strength. Meaning, he's going to be gaining strength up the wazoo. Luckily, I have my own hard counters to him. Which is the fact that I'm kind of an unmitigated uh, Destructinator. So let's use Armaments. Upgrades them all. Use Madness, which upgrades Perfected Strike. Havoc. I don't even know where all these cards came from. And there goes my hand. Shit. I think we got stuck in an infinite draw loop there? I'm not entirely sure where that came from. We really desperately need Metallicize. And Barricade. Well, Metallicize, Metallicize. Burning Pact, let's burn the wound. Okay, Immolate. I might as well Immolate the in Injury, get that out of there. Which gets me Combust, which really isn't that helpful. Flex is useless. Let's use Dual Wield. Gets me Barricade. Double Barricade, which is kind of confusing. Uh, brutality, because we're going to need the extra cards. Yeah, Double Barricade doesn't do me any good. Rage is a skill. Attack this turn. Gain 4 block. I'm not attacking this turn. Let's just block. I'm just going to start defending... Because this guy is scary. Uh... Upgrade Flex. Because he's about to take his turn. And that worries me. Can't do much about it. I guess I'll pop Flex. Which gets me a Battle Trance or Combust. I could just end my turn. I'm just going to end my turn. Oh, wait. What? Oh, no. That actually works way worse here than I thought it was going to. Because now, whatever I play here ruins me. Well, let's do Inflame. And I believe that triggers his clock. Yep. I did that wrong. Whatever. We'll be fine, I think. But yeah, we got hard countered real hard. Uh, I'll just eat it. 42 damage. Ouch. Yeah, good thing I Wander has ice cream. Correct. I just... That draw reduction and his other penalties are... Are hurting me hard. Okay, so what do we got? Let's use Rage. 
Infernal Blade. Dark Embrace, which is amazing. Defend. Gets me that other one. Well, I could use Reaper. I don't have any... Oh, let's use Thunderclap first. And Reaper a bunch of my HP back. Thank you. Let's use another Dark Embrace. Uh, evolve. And... Strike. Which gets me some extra defense. Which we needed. I need to get these barricades out of here. But right now I will just be satisfied... Uh... Not dying to this guy. Okay. So what do we got? I got double tap, flex, power through, immolate, re... Ooh, reaper. Interesting. We've got some options. Let's start with... Burning the wound for more cards. I might just transmute... Do Sentinel, which gets me some stuff. None of this is helpful. He's gonna hit me for 26. Well, what's Emulate do? Let's get rid of the Rise. Writhe. Okay, in retrospect, this guy is no longer a hard counter. He just is a hard limit, which kind of sucks, but whatever. Uh, let's see, so I have Double Tap. Let's do Double Tap, Reaper to get my HP back. It's not the greatest, but whatever. And the rest of these are not particularly helpful, so let's trans transmute a lot of them. In favor of... Dark Shackles. Jax. Flame Barrier. Yeah, I've already got Barricade. Juggernaut. Jack of all trades. And there's the trigger. Yeah, so we're going to be stacking his strength up real hard. But I'm going to be stronger. I'm going to kill him all before he becomes dangerous. Let's use Warcry. Give me some cards. Let's get rid of the injury. Okay, I don't even know where half of these are even coming from. To be totally honest here. Defend. Bash. Let's see. Bloodletting. I don't know if bloodletting is that useful. We'll go with Pommel Strike, which gets me Fiend Fire, which is fun. Fiend Fire is 15 damage per card. Well, honestly, looking at the rest of these, they're all garbage Fiend Fire. He is down to 66. And that was not the end of my turn. And I get my entire hand back. Ha 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 ha! Oh, this is goddamn the best. Yeah, so, right. That's why I'm drawing so many cards. Okay. Uh, do Flame Barrier. Spot weakness. No, he's not about to hit me. Uh, I could do Iron Wave. He's not really vulnerable. Could I kill him this turn? Yes, I can. There we are. This was a two-hour run of kind of the best thing ever. Um, 640 damage. That was absurd. And yeah, we beat it with full health. I got scared there. We almost lost that one. But by being just the un unstoppable horror, we got it. <laughs> Spam McDude is more powerful than Time Eater. <laughs> I cannot believe that worked as well as it did. The lizard tail saved my ass. Next, Maybe next time you should try a discard build and looks fun. Dude, I don't even know. I just take the first combo that lands in my lap. This game uh, is not... This game is not, um, it's too random for me to pick a build. I would love it if, like, once I hit 30,000 points or something in the game, like, some ridiculous amount, it just lets me do full, 
uh, like a full custom whatever I want to do. Um, like, oh, that would be amazing if I could actually just sit down and custom build a deck with like some kind of point buy system. I would be so happy. Uh, obviously, we'd throw off the entire scale of the game, but after a certain point, I just love love to be able to to like pick and choose what I do. Uh, to you know, I don't know, come up with ridiculous shit like that. I didn't even think that build was possible. I thought that was dumb. Seems like the stick relic could backfire by filling your deck with random cards. The thing is, I could burn all of the random shitty cards that I don't care. Yeah, as you complete the game more, you get more points to buy? Yeah, absolutely. So, like, eventually, by the end of it, you could you could actually, like, stack your, your deck to the point of it being, um, you know, just an OP run from the start. Just so you could actually mess around with it. But, you know, obviously you'd have, like, um... Actually, you could even have the game kind of scale based on it, too. I don't know. It'd be an interesting idea, at the very least. But, yeah. Should see a dead branch shiv run on the silent. That would be amazing. Uh, I would love to try that. It'd be a bit scary, honestly. Because the main reason why that worked was entirely because of corruption. Uh, dead branch plus shiv run means your entire hand would fill up with pure garbage plus plus, and that would actually cause problems. But it would be fun. Stack the deck as tall as the tower itself. <laughs> uh, that said, I will try it, though. Yeah, you could, you could potentially end up with, like, an infinite hand this way. That way. Ugh. I, I don't know. It'd be interesting. You'd probably die.